that dreaded check engine light just popped on in your dashboard, your stomach sinks as you imagine the hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars you're about to hand over to your mechanic. But what if I told you that you could diagnose that problem yourself in about two minutes with a simple tool that costs less than a pizza delivery? I'm not exaggerating. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how a basic OBD2 scanner can save you thousands of dollars in unnecessary repairs and prevent you from being taken advantage of by unscrupulous repair shops. If you're someone who values hard facts and practical advice that can save you real money, take a second right now to hit that subscribe button. It's shocking that over 95% of viewers don't subscribe, even though information like this can save them thousands in car repairs. Subscribing costs you nothing but supports this channel in bringing you more content that puts power back in your hands as a vehicle owner. This video is going to walk you through everything you need to know about using a basic OBD2 scanner to diagnose your vehicle's check engine light. And stick around until the end, because I'll show you a specific example of how this $15 tool prevented a bound $200 repair that wasn't actually needed. This isn't theoretical. This happens every single day at repair shops across America. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is OBD2? OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostics, and it's a standardized system that's been mandatory in all vehicles sold in the United States since 1996. This system monitors your vehicle's major systems and components, and when it detects a problem, it stores a specific code that identifies what's wrong. The TUI simply means it's the second generation of this system. The diagnostic port, which looks like a trapezoid-shaped connector with 16 pins, is typically located under your dashboard on the driver's side. This is where you'll plug in your scanner. The scanner itself doesn't fix anything. It simply reads the codes your car's computer has stored. Now let's talk about the scanner itself. The one I recommend for most people is a basic Bluetooth OBD2 scanner that pairs with your smartphone. These typically cost between 15 to 25s on Amazon or at auto parts stores. Some popular brands include Bearfex, VPeak and Panlong. These aren't professional grade diagnostic tools. They're simple code readers that will tell you what's triggering your check engine light. The process couldn't be simpler. One, plug the scanner into your car's OBD2 port 2. Download a compatible app on your smartphone. I recommend Car Scanner for Android or OBD Fusion for iPhone. 3. Turn your ignition to the on position without starting the engine 4. Connect your phone to the scanner via Bluetooth 5. Use the app to read the codes. When you read the code, you'll get something that looks like P301 or P0420. These are standardized diagnostic trouble codes or DTCs. The first digit, P, B, C, or U, indicates which system has the problem. P stands for powertrain, B for body, C for chassis, and U for network. The second digit indicates whether it's a generic code, 0, or a manufacturer-specific code, 1. The last three digits pinpoint the specific issue. Here's where this tool becomes invaluable. Once you have the code, you can simply search for it online. For example, if you get a P301 code, a quick search will tell you that this means Cylinder 1 Misfire Detected. Now you know exactly what's wrong with your car before you ever talk to a mechanic. Let's talk about the most common check engine light codes and what they actually mean. POI 300 P0308. These are misfire codes, indicating that one or more of your cylinders isn't firing properly. This could be caused by something as simple as old spark plugs or spark plug wires. A mechanic might quote you $300 to $400 for this repair. But if it's just spark plugs, you could fix it yourself for 20 to 60 talons in parts. P0420, Catalyst System Efficiency Below Threshold. This means your catalytic converter isn't operating efficiently. This is one of the most common codes, and repair shops often recommend replacing the catalytic converter immediately, a $1,000, $2,500 repair. However, in many cases, this code is triggered by a faulty oxygen sensor, or an exhaust leak, which might cost only a hundred hours and two hundred and fifty dollars to fix. P0171, P0174. These codes indicate that your engine is running lean, too much air, not enough fuel, in bank one or bank two. While this could indicate a fuel system problem, it's often caused by a vacuum leak, which is usually an inexpensive fix. P0444, P0442, P0446. These are Evaporative Emission Control System, EVAP, codes. One of the most common causes is simply a loose or damaged gas cap. 
A $5.15 fix that mechanics might charge you 100 pluses to diagnose. P0401. EGR system flow insufficient. This indicates a problem with your exhaust gas recirculation system. Often the EGR valve is just clogged with carbon deposits and needs cleaning, not replacement. The power of having this scanner isn't just knowing the code, it's understanding what the code really means before a mechanic tries to upsell you on repairs. Let me give you a real-world example. The check engine light came on in a 2012 Toyota Camry. The owner took it to a dealership where they scanned it and found a PO420 code. They immediately recommended replacing the catalytic converter for one $200. Before proceeding, the owner bought a $15 OBD2 scanner and did some research. They discovered that a P row 420 code can often be triggered by a failing oxygen sensor. They took the car to an independent mechanic who replaced the oxygen sensor for $200 and the problem was solved, saving $1,000. This isn't an isolated incident. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Americans spend about $60 billion each year on vehicle repairs, and industry experts estimate that up to 30% of these repairs might be unnecessary or overpriced. That means Americans could be wasting up to $18 billion annually on car repairs they don't need. But the scanner doesn't just save you money by preventing unnecessary repairs. It also helps in these critical ways. First, it lets you verify the problem before you take your car to a mechanic. Knowledge is power, and knowing exactly what code your car is showing means you can't be easily misled about what's wrong. Second, it helps you prioritize repairs. Not all check engine lights indicate urgent problems. For example, an EVAP code, P0440 series, usually doesn't affect how your car drives and isn't a safety issue. You can often continue driving while you save up for the repair. Third, it enables you to shop around for the best price. Once you know exactly what's wrong, you can call multiple shops and ask for estimates on that specific repair, rather than being at the mercy of whichever shop diagnoses your car. Fourth, it can tell you if a problem has been fixed. After a repair, you can use the scanner to clear the code and see if it comes back. This is especially useful for intermittent problems. Beyond just reading and clearing codes, even basic OBD2 scanners have some additional features worth knowing about. Freeze frame data shows the exact conditions when the code was set. Things like engine temperature, speed and load. This can help identify intermittent problems. Live data lets you see real-time information from your car's sensors. This can be incredibly useful for diagnosing problems that don't always trigger a code. I am Readiness tells you if your car is ready for an emissions inspection. After clearing codes, your car needs to complete various self-tests before it's considered ready. Now, I want to be completely transparent about the limitations of these basic scanners. They won't read manufacturer-specific codes for systems like ABS, airbags, or the transmission on most vehicles. For those, you'd need a more advanced and expensive scanner. They can tell you what's wrong, but not always why. For example, a misfire code tells you which cylinder is misfiring, but not whether it's due to a bad spark plug, ignition coil, fuel injector, or compression issue. They don't replace proper diagnosis. The code is just the starting point. It's like your car saying, something's wrong in this area. Professional diagnosis still has value. However, for the vast majority of check engine light issues, a basic scanner will give you the information you need to make informed decisions and avoid unnecessary repairs. Let me share a few specific examples of how people have saved money with these scanners. A 2010 Ford F-150 owner had a check engine light and rough idle. The dealer quoted 708 euros for a new fuel pump. Using an OBD2 scanner, the owner found it was a P0316 code, misfire detected on startup. After researching online, they replaced the spark plugs for $60 and fixed the problem themselves. A 2015 Honda CRV owner's check engine light came on shortly after getting gas. The scanner showed a P0457 code, evaporative emission control system leak detected, fuel cap loose off. They simply tightened the gas cap cleared the code, and the light didn't return. A shop would have charged at least $100 just to diagnose this. A 2008 Chevrolet Impala had an intermittent check engine light. The owner used an OBD2 scanner to read the code, P0401, EGR flow insufficient, and monitor live data from the EGR valve. This helped them discover that the valve was sticking but not completely failed, 
They used EGR cleaner, $8, instead of replacing the entire valve, $300 plus. Now let's get practical. Here's how to use your OBD2 scanner effectively. Step 1. Purchase a basic Bluetooth OBD2 scanner. Again, these typically cost between $15-$25. Make sure it's compatible with your phone's operating system. Step 2. Download a compatible app. There are many free and paid options. For Android, Car Scanner and Talk Pro are popular. For iPhone, OBD Fusion and Car Scanner work well. The free versions of these apps are usually sufficient for basic code reading. Step 3. Locate your car's OBD2 port. It's usually under the dashboard on the driver's side, though in some vehicles it might be hidden under a small cover. Step 4. With the engine off, plug the scanner into the port. Step 5. Turn the key to the on position without starting the engine. This powers up the vehicle's electronics without running the engine. Step 6. Connect your phone to the scanner via Bluetooth. The app should guide you through this process. Step 7. Use the app to read the codes. Look for the Read Codes or Trouble Codes option. Step 8. Research the codes online or within the app. Many apps will provide a brief description of what each code means. Step 9. If you fix the problem, use the scanner to clear the codes and see if the issue returns. One important tip. Before clearing any codes, take a screenshot or write down all the codes your scanner finds. This information could be valuable for diagnosis, especially if the problem is intermittent. For those of you who want to be even more proactive, you can use your OBD2 scanner for regular maintenance checks, even when your check engine light isn't on. Many vehicles will store pending codes that haven't yet triggered the check engine light. Catching these early can prevent more serious problems. You can also monitor your car's sensors in real time using the live data feature. For example, you can check your oxygen sensor voltages, fuel trim levels, coolant temperature, and more. This can help you spot developing issues before they become serious. If you've made it this far, you're clearly someone who takes car maintenance seriously. Leave a comment below with scanner ready, so I know you're going to take control of your vehicle diagnostics and stop getting taken advantage of at repair shops. Let's wrap this up with a real game changer, knowing when to DIY and when to seek professional help. After using your scanner to read the code, one, research the code thoroughly. Websites like obdcodes.com and forums specific to your car model are excellent resources. Two, assess your comfort level with the repair. Simple fixes like replacing a gas cap or spark plugs are well within most people's capabilities. More complex issues might require professional help. 3. Calculate the potential savings. If a repair shop quotes $500 for a job that requires $100 in parts and two hours of your time, that's a $400 saving, probably worth doing yourself. 4. Consider the tools required. Some repairs need specialized tools that might cost more than the repair itself. 5. Think about safety. Anything involving the fuel system, high voltage components in hybrid electric vehicles, or safety systems like airbags should generally be left to professionals. In the world of car repairs, information is your most powerful tool. A $15 OBD2 scanner gives you access to the same diagnostic starting point that repair shops use, allowing you to make informed decisions, avoid unnecessary repairs, and potentially save thousands over the life of your vehicle. Thank you for watching all the way through. If this information has been valuable to you, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. In our next video, we'll cover the top 10 repairs you should never pay a mechanic to do. Simple fixes that anyone can handle with basic tools. Until then, drive safely and keep that scanner handy.